common. Yes, you might incorrectly label somebody that's trying to trick you because they are wearing the equivalent of a Halloween costume because they're suffering from a mental disorder. I do believe that they are suffering, and I do believe that... No, no, they are suffering, but let me tell you, yeah. instead of pandering to somebody's torture, we should give them a way out and liberate them with the truth and say that there is a better way forward for you where you don't have to chop off your genitals, get on Lupron, wait, get wait, a mastectomy. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't hear you. There was a crowd. Can you repeat that? Say that? Can you repeat your... You were rambling, and there was a crowd, so I couldn't Oh, hear I was you. rambling. Okay. All right, next question. We're done. No, 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 no. I couldn't hear no, you. No, if you're, you're going to be a jerk, we're done. Next question. Yeah, thanks. And by the way, you don't get to pick your adjectives. You aren't very tall, and you can't change that. So next question. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling cool. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Kirk destroy pro-trans people. Actually, this is like Terry pro-trans people. I would love to check this video out for you guys. I call Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's go right to today's video. So my question is about what you said earlier about um, Justice Kentaji Brown's uh, Jackson's qualifications for the Supreme Court and how you mentioned that uh, she was unable to uh, define what a woman is. And I'd like to compare that to um, Justice Barrett. So uh, Justice Jackson went to a public high school, attended Ivy League Law, law School, um, clerked for the Supreme Court, was a public defender, uh, served on a sentencing commission, was a district judge, and served on the Court of Appeals. And um, as for um, Justice Barrett, she was a Supreme Court clerk, and uh, she also sat in Court of Appeals. And when um, she was being questioned by the Senate during her confirmation, she uh, was asked to, to name the freedoms of the First Amendment, which um, she struggled with. So my question is, what makes Justice Jack, uh, Jack uh, pardon me, uh, Justice um, Barrett more qualified than Justice Brown? So first of all, what does your shirt say? I can't see that. Trump 22, 24 years in prison. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, that's, got it. But we could talk about that in a second. Um, I, I was like, I was like seeing double. I was like, are you a Trump fan or not? Because, yeah, obviously not. Um, yeah, I mean, how is, by the way, how is Katanji Brown Jackson's Ivy League credentials impressive if she got in with affirmative action. Why is that impressive? And by the way, Amy Coney Barrett did her entire hearing without a shred of notes in front of her. You remember that? She had nothing but a notepad, all from memory. Katanji Brown Jackson, I will just ask you, do you think it's important that one of the nine people determining the most important interpretation of our laws knows what a woman is? Well, right. Um, well, my counter to that is that we shouldn't really be seeing the world in black and white. Um, and a woman is, it's more than what meets the eye for a definition. Um, no, it's not. No, we should see the world through male and female. Why? Definitely. Well, why? Because yeah. I live in reality, not in Narnia or some sort of weird, created academic, abstract space that doesn't exist. So why shouldn't a person be socially welcome to identify with a gender outside of the binary? Well, anyone can pretend to be something they're not, but that doesn't make them the thing that they're not. Can I be black? No. Oh, but why can't I socially become black? Blackface, right? I could pretend, wear camouflage, masquerade as something that I'm not, right? How's Ra that different than a trans person? Race and gender are two completely separate things. They have nothing to do with each other, and the existence of being transgender does not imply the existence of being transracial. So you can, you can pretend to say that you have ovaries when you don't, but you can't put makeup on to pretend to be a black person. What transgender women are claimed to have ovaries? Uh, there's lots of men that pretend to have ovaries. In fact, the CDC guidance says right now that men can chest feed. Do you think men can chest feed? No. That's not the sole criterion for being... So let woman. me ask you a question. What is a woman? A woman is someone who 
identifies as one. Answer the yes. question without saying the word woman. You can't say the word woman. That's, that's called circular reasoning. It's like saying a tree is something that looks like a tree. So I'll ask again, what is a woman? A woman is a person who lives a lifestyle aligned with feminine characteristics, not necessarily your chromosomes or your genitals. So, so someone who just wears a dress. So what you are doing is you are reducing womanhood to a costume. Hmm. That's true. No. Um, so, are you suggesting that, like, a transgender woman goes about her day pretending to be a woman, but then when she gets home, she starts acting like a man? No, delusional in every part of life. I understand that, but that doesn't mean they're not delusional. Can, I mean, there, there's a series of mental conditions where you could pretend to be a wolf. Can you be trans species too? Does, does your own mental condition dictate external reality, yes or no? Not necessarily. Okay, then why do you believe that a biological man can become something that he is not? Because he thinks it. Because gender is not interchangeable with sex. Yeah, right, so there are zero genders, there are only two sexes. Gender is a made up term that started in the academy in the 1960s. Talking about sex, which is the only thing that actually can be proven and that matters, X, 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 Y, I will ask the question again, why is it that a man can suddenly become a dress and can be treated exactly the same as a woman that is biologically, not just biologically different, but somebody that has a different brain, a different hormonal system, menstruate, have children? I'll be very honest with you. It is so unbelievably insulting to women mm. to have men have to lecture that all it takes is some weird dude with testosterone can put makeup on, wear a thong and a dress, yep. and he suddenly becomes a woman. Here's at the essence of the issue, is that no matter how much surgery you do, no matter how many drugs you take, you don't stop being the thing that you were born. You don't get to determine your reality by a stroke of the will. I don't deny for a second that the trans person thinks that they are. Certain people think that they're younger than they are. Some people think they're taller than they are. Some people think they're richer than they are. Some people think they're innocent when they're not, like Bob Menendez. There's plenty of delusional people in this world. It's up for society to say no to the delusional and yes to reality. Mm. It is for us to not allow us to be reigned under the tyranny of somebody's imagination. Do you have a response and then we'll wrap it up? I'm not going to put you on the spot. All I right. appreciate you being here tonight. All Thank right. you so much. Thank you. All right, next question. And give it up for him. That's not easy to do at a conservative event. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. So I grew up, right, um, not particularly liking the LGBT community. And in the past several years, I have turned um, – to believe that I, I really like the LGBT community today, and I was going to ask you about a specific person in that community, uh, Ms. Blair White. I haven't thought about Blair White in a while, but okay. Yeah, I mean, she was on the new Jubilee debate. Wait, is it a biological woman who thinks they're a man? I can't remember. She was, she's a trans woman. Okay, so a fake woman. <laughs> so... No, I'm just trying, I, I'm not even sarcastic. I, I, right. I don't, so it's a man who masquerades as a woman masquerading as a woman that if you were i mean there was a debate she had with a you know ben shapiro you were to refer to her at a, like a restaurant or whatever you would refer to her as a, as a woman right well but, yeah i mean you could pretend to be black you could put blackface on that doesn't make you black but i'm just wondering I, I i'm not even i don't know much about blair white so it's a man who wears the costume of a woman is that right i mean if you believe that value system then I no, me, well then, let that. me ask you: What is a woman? I watched the I watched the movie, and it's a it's a person who needs a man to open their pickle jar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so.
so you. I do open my girlfriend's pickle jar. I, I, I can't hear what you said. I do open my girlfriend's pickle jars for her. Still can't hear what you said. I open my girlfriend's pickle jars for her, I swear. Tough guy. It's a tough guy here. So, so, you can't answer what a woman is. That's not what I said. I did answer what a woman was. Yeah, I mean, rather, so that, that's your final answer. I so like, demanded. You millionaire. That's your final answer? Like, that's final what a woman answer. is? So, obviously the Bible says that a woman is a woman, a person with a vagina, obviously. But I do believe that gender dysphoria is a real thing. And scientifically proven. Right. Well, no, no, it's definitely a mental delusion. The question is, is it what they think they are? Is it what they are? Delusion's a strong word. Disorder, sure. But a person with a woman's soul and a man's body is a real thing. Okay, say that one, one more time. A trans woman is a person with a woman's soul and a man's body. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're willing to appropriate the word woman... Well, I guess it does fit your definition because it's a man who could open a pickle jar. So that's kind of, I guess it fits your definition. So then you think so lowly of women that you think that someone can just look like one, put on a bra with a dress and makeup, and that magically they, become, they like enter womanhood. Well, if they have gender dysphoria, then yes. And I don't think lowly of women. I love them. Gender dysphoria is real. Gender dysphoria is a real thing people suffer from, right. but the thing they claim is not real or true. Why? Because there's no evidence for true. it. True. For example, say that again? so can you pick your adjectives? Say that one more time. Can you pick your adjectives in life? I mean, obviously not, right? I'm not okay, so then tell me if I'm you like, can't the... pick your adjectives, why can you pick your pronouns? Pronouns are a social construct. You gotta do it one more time. Pronouns are just, like, when you look at a person, you say, hey, this person looks like a man, right? Like the person you, the, the other person, I forgot, was it Joe Bob? I forgot their name. Sure. But he looked at, I think her name was Chloe. This person looks like a woman. She's a woman, right? Yes. If a trans woman looks like a woman, you're gonna call her a woman on first sight because she looks like a woman. Yes, you might incorrectly label somebody that's trying to trick True. you. Because they are wearing the equivalent of a Halloween costume because they're suffering from a mental disorder. I do believe that they are suffering, and I do believe that... No, no, they are suffering, but let me tell you, yeah. instead of pandering to somebody's torture, we should give them a way out and liberate them with the truth and say that there is a better way forward for you where you don't have to chop off your genitals, get on Lupron, Wait, get a mastectomy. Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't hear you. There was a crowd. Can you repeat that? Say that? Can you repeat your, your rambling? And there was a crowd, so I can Oh, I was you. rambling. Okay. All right. Next question. We're done. No, no, no. no. I couldn't hear no, you. No, if you're, you're going to be a jerk, we're done. Next question. Yeah, thanks. And by the way, you don't get to pick your adjectives. You aren't very tall, and you can't change that. So next question. <laughs> Hi, I'm a liberal, I'm Democrat voting, I'm uh, very uh, strong in my beliefs about uh, a certain st set, I have a very strong belief in a certain set of principles. Um, I probably disagree with a lot of your principles. I disagree with conservatism and uh, usually right-wing conservative beliefs. Okay. The reason I'm here tonight is my son is very right-wing conservative. You have a very smart son. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he doesn't drink. Oh, <laughs> He's only 20, watch it. All right. um, and the reason that I'm here is because I raised him to believe and think for himself, to look at both sides Good. and come up with his own opinion. And he kind of didn't come up with Bernie, okay, I can live with that, but I absolutely stand behind his right to think what Good. he is free to think. And I don't need to break windows. That's not a model for what I believe in liberalism. There's a lot of liberals who are very upset about that. Good. So my question to you is, 
in my sense of accepting and loving my son, it's different, he's my family. I also believe, for, for example, one example is LGBTQ adults, not trans kids, I'm gonna get that argument, but LGBTQ adults who are happily in relationships and married, who are behind what they believe in, and it doesn't necessarily coincide with the Bible. It doesn't coincide with two genders. I believe that people have the freedom to express themselves, and they don't want to be in two genders. They have a different point of view yeah. because they looked at both sides. What, they came what, up, and they have the freedom to believe what they want. So, so what's how the do you? Yeah. Your, my question to you is: How, in your belief of two genders, sure. do you accept people who don't believe that? Well, yeah, I just asked the question. I would ask it of you. What is a woman? Um, for me personally, I am a woman. And I believe no, but that... but what is that? Don't, don't answer the question with the question, like, what is the vocab term, woman, define it. Um, that I align myself as a mother and uh, what the women in my life and the uh, feminine values of being... Uh, uh, more relationship oriented, less competitive, mothering, caring about someone ahead of myself. So those are values that I, feminist values that I believe in. And I believe I can be a woman. I don't have, uh, I wasn't born with a male body. But I believe that I am a woman based on feminine principles. Those, uh, like, so those, under, and, and those and other Under your principles. view, somebody can choose to be what they want to be. Yes. Okay. Can I be a bobcat? Um, well, and more than that argument, I want to get more into no, no, this is important. your let me, belief. Let me ask you another question. Can oh, okay. I be whatever age I want to be? Um, the, the response to that really is not exactly what my question's about. Well, you're asking about my view on the LGBT, and I'm getting there. I'm just trying to understand. Or, and as an example, people who don't believe that there are two genders, just in general, no, I know. who are disagreeing with you. And you are one of those people, so I'm trying to get to some form of understanding and clarity. Okay. So do you think that having agreed upon objective reality on age is important? Yeah, but that's not within the concept of gender. Well, but why, why is that different? Why, is, why does reality stop when gender gets discussed? Mm -hmm. Tell because me. I'm not thinking about people of different ages. Why not? So, well, if a 30-year-old thinks he's 14, he should be able to have, be able to have sex with a 12-year-old, right? Um, no, this is more about gender. Well, that no, no, I hold feel, on. Well, but I have a limit but gender to... Is, gender is... A, what, why, where does that limit come from and why do you believe in the limit for age but not for biology? Um, because I feel that gender is an, is an aspect of somebody they can believe in being able to be in one, more than one gender. I don't believe that age falls into that. I believe this is more about a gender that people are right, able to don't choose. You, don't, you're saying though that gender is yes. a personal feeling or belief that somebody has about their existence. Uh, Regardless, yes, w within gender, there's got some it, things so, that the they moral, don't like the, being the, an animal or the, being 90. Right, but the moral premise of that is that your biology, your chromosomes, do not dictate your reality, correct? I don't know. Do I have to know the answer to that in order to honor the fact that somebody else believes that they are let, choosing let, let to be a woman? Let me tell you why and what I believe. Do, you, do I have to agree with that? Well, not a matter of agreeing. In order to be able to identify You can gender. have whatever opinion you want. But the truth is what I'm trying to articulate. Thank you. It doesn't matter what you believe. Somebody is born a man. They don't stop being a man if they appropriate womanhood. If I wore blackface right now, I don't become black. If a man decides to all of a sudden dress in a dress, he doesn't become a woman, nor should I for you force other people to reaccommodate society. If they want to think that in their private time or in their own mind, 
It's kind of weird and strange. I guess go ahead and do it. But that's not the debate we're having in America right now. The debate we're having, and I'd love your final thoughts on this, is a biological man is able to compete against biological women in NCAA sports and win the national championship in swimming. Do you yeah. think that's fair? I, I don't think that. That's not part of my personal beliefs. Um, okay, so let's maybe just go for gay and lesbian couples who are successful. I mean, just because I really want to know the answer and I kind of know where that's headed and I don't agree about men playing in women's sports or... Hey, we agree on that. So Yeah, so you I agree with that. You understand that the liberals that you identify with call you a bigot for that belief, right? Not the liberals that are my friends and not all liberals believe that. Yeah, that's shocking. I'd love to meet them. So, um... Secondly, though, yeah. on the other part, as they're, far as... They're all in but, their 60s, but let me, but, <laughs> that, my friend. <laughs> on the LGBT thing, and I want to get to as many questions as possible. Yeah. What does somebody's own personal sexual orientation have to do with lumping in a bunch of letters with somebody that is suffering from gender dysphoria? Those are two separate issues. Don't you think we should yeah. divide them? No, I think that, that there are people who have healthy... Uh, homosexual relationships who identify that way who aren't in favor of no, no, some no. of the you, you gender misunderstood problems. the question what I'm trying to say is that for a while it was gay activism and now it's LGBTQIA plus it just keeps on growing and this right. kind of social contagion of um, of left-wing activism let me just uh, let me just tell you my position very okay. clearly okay everybody's made in the image of God that's my first that's my moral my first premise we all have a soul you could disagree at that. The American founders believed every single human being had a soul, and that is a fact. I believe that marriage is an institution and a tradition that should be between one man and one woman. Marriage, the, in an ideal world, the state would have a limited role in that, but I don't believe that diluting or destroying the institution of marriage or the vocabulary or the truth behind it does it any justice for anybody. Mm. And you must understand what a word means and what is the purpose of that word. And having been married, I can understand that marriage is about opposites getting along to do something bigger than themselves. The big issue in the gay marriage debate, and some conservatives disagree, is that you don't have two opposites. You have two alikes that are coming, two people that are alike coming yeah. together. Yeah. That's not what marriage is. You could call it something else, that's not marriage. In fact, I think it actually destroys and diminishes the beautiful institution of that's true. Uh, Tally points of view right here is very, very beautiful. So this was a lot. This was 20. This was a lot. Okay, starting from the first guy who um, hit Trump. <laughs> he said Trump ought to be in prison. About his own view about um, transgenderism. The funny thing about gender as a whole is that is how people see women. Like, they are, they're demeaning the word womanhood. Like, they can't define the word woman without using the word woman in it. And the way they, they reduce women to a very low extent, like anyone who can put on makeup, dress as a woman and carry a handbag is a woman. That is very demeaning for me. Very, 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 very demeaning. That is a low points of describing what a woman is is disrespectful if you ask me <laughs> women are way more than that women are way more than that um if this is how the society we have gotten to sees women as uh, i don't know how our future will be you guys because it's very disrespectful to undermine a woman womanhood as a whole and put them under a false pretense of that is only makeup and handbag they are all, all about. And any man who can dress as a woman is a woman and can go to the female restroom and, and go do whatever he wants to do. A lot of people who have been abused and is assaulted through the process, a man who is dressed, a man who is testosterone, who is dressed as a woman, going to the restroom, also assault women. And made and make women who are in the restroom uncomfortable because they are actually seeing a man in a female restroom. It's very very terrible to know that we're in social society right now, and it gives the sense of like fear about how the future is going to be, because this LGBTQ plus um it's the latest keep on going and it has no end. 
if you ask me, because right now there's about 200, 100 genders, which which is ridiculous for me if you ask me. Um, the guy who said he can open his girlfriend pickle jar, he's, he's very disrespectful and he has really undermined women totally. He's someone who I feel like he, his his girlfriend is controlling, if you ask me. I feel like he's talking for his girlfriend. Maybe the girlfriend supports transgenderism because he's someone who, his statement and how he answers questions, is not someone who truly believes in transgenderism as a whole. Uh, and also LGBTQ+, you need to keep on going. Um, he's just there to just voice on some opinion he has heard about. That's basically it. Because he truly, do, I'm not sure he believes in it because he's not acting like someone who believes in it. And he's acting very lousy and cocky at the same time, guys. Um, the woman who said her child believe in child is a conservative. I actually love her starting point of how she started the entire conversation and praising her son and allowing him that his her son can think for his own self, not because the mother um believe um in the left wing, the son have to believe in the left wing too. The mother allow his son to to think for himself and accept whatever he believes in. And that's to say I respect that and I appreciate that from the mother. But at the same time the mother's point of view is actually very, 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 very terrible and very wrong. But I also undermine a woman. She believe I know she accepts herself as a real woman, but people who she feel like they can be whosoever they choose to be, choosing their own pronouns. Because they feel like they have the right to choose it. It makes no sense. Why can't people choose pronouns and not adjectives? Why can't you choose your own adjectives? <laughs> like it's it's crazy. Because someone says he's black doesn't mean he's black. You understand? A white man can do some camouflage and so forth. It can never still be black. You understand? Aside looking like he cannot understand what it means to be black. You understand? That's that is as simple as that. That's a simple definition of just me. Um this itself was a very meaningful conversation, and I love how Charlie handled every single one of them. The first guy who was actually speechless about how Charlie answered him, to the next guy who was talking about opening Pico Jaya for his girlfriend. That guy had no mind of his own. Um, going to the woman who um, accepted her son being a conservative, I truly respect her actions for that. And also supporting transgenderism and LGBTQ there. So I don't know why they feel like people are born in the wrong body. Like, how? what does that mean? Like, it's crazy. If you ask me, it's it's, it's very, very silly and crazy. Someone being born in a, in, in a wrong body, feel like you ought to be a woman, but it's in a man body. Like, what? Is this where we've gotten to now? It's it's very, very crazy and very delusional. Um, entire video was actually beautiful. And I feel like the world ought to see the light. And there's something called truth. Either you choose to accept it or not, the truth does not change. You understand? That's what Charlie is always trying to tell people who believe in this transgenderism and 100 genders. No matter how you choose to say there are 1,000 genders, 2,000 genders, the truth is that there are only two sex, X, X and XY chromosome. That is basically it. You understand? So, and I, for me, there are only two genders, male and female. So, irrespective of how people choose to say there are 5,000 genders, 20,000 genders, that is their own perspective of what they see. But the truth still remains. If they dig up a body after a thousand years, like there are only two genders, a male and a female. Period. You understand? And it's very, very demeaning that gay, two, two similar gender coming together. You understand? Like, it's, 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 it's kind of like, it's kind of like bad. According to Charlie, I've, not, I've, not been, I've never been married before, but Charlie's statement right here is that when, after he has married, he, gets to understand that two separate genders, a male and a female coming together, they are not actually the same thing, but trying to understand themselves really means a lot. So and as understanding what Charlie said and seeing um, a man and a man coming together, like those are the same gender. You understand coming together and why 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 are they married in the first place? Like why are they now getting married if they don't believe in uh, me and female? Like what's the point? So she does Date who you are dating. Guys, comment down below to think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. <laughs>
just want a bag Like an old lady I'm backwoods smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808 That dump, dump shaker Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed I got scales all 